the challenge of atmosphere is also s has got two parts to it. I think one is uh, poetic and one is pragmatic. I think for us to understand how the building is going to work, for us to understand how um, people are going to live in it, the families that's going to come together there, and for us to put that together with some kind of aesthetics, a kind of uh, poetic response, I think these were the two. And something that uh, it's not inherently uh, from Singapore or some kind of generic source, uh, but something also peculiar to, something particular to Calcutta, something special about our our response uh, by immersing ourselves in, in the culture of India and Calcutta. We also like the idea that when you have that bridge facilities up there, it creates a greater opportunity for the community um, the, the residents of, of, of atmosphere to come up, meet, and get to know each other better. And so that, that space itself becomes a celebrated space. And that's when we had the idea that maybe it could be something uh, that could be almost an iconic feature. I mean, we're talking about a site that has a complete unblocked view towards the wetlands and similarly, obviously, from the new um, EM bypass, you will get fantastic views of the two towers. So why not have something that could visually sort of contribute back to the city as well? So I think Ping Bing came up with this idea of, you know, maybe having a cloud just landing and sitting and being captured by the two towers. So we tend to have quite a range of interesting and challenging projects. The atmosphere definitely ranks amongst the highest. I think that the challenge with the design of the atmosphere was that we had to catch a cloud and hold it in between two relatively thin towers. The, a cloud which is the size of an A380 Airbus and uh, with three levels of, of accommodation, a roof deck which is open to the sky, and with, a, with an almost um, very, very organic and, and um, formless shape, which clouds are, which tapering down to almost nothing uh, at the navel in the middle. This is a very uh, interesting challenge, which our team met with uh, you know, coming up with a series of uh, very interesting trusses and arches and a diagrid to, which are joined together in a way that I don't think has ever been done before anywhere in the world. The, the uh, intent of trying to do a design that is dynamic, that has got movement in the, in the facade cladding, there's so much interest in it and the challenges of doing a bridge between two buildings. The span is 90 meters, you know, it's, it's not small. And in that span, we have got uh, swimming pools, we've got uh, uh, clubhouses, gyms, and we've got spaces for walking the dog jogging. It's, uh, I think it's going to be a fantastic space to look down to the city, look across to General Calcutta. The cladding will uh, reflect the life around the place, it will reflect the sky, and it will give uh, so much dynamic movement into the uh, project. Uh, now the materials we're looking at is going to be uh, materials that will give shin, different texture, and it will be materials that will be fun to look at because it will have movement and porous as well. Porous in a mixture of porosity and transparency. Uh, the mixture will come with glass. We're going to put some glass panels on the bridge itself. We're going to put some mesh, and the mesh will allow air to come in, and it will give uh, texture to the underside of that bridge. Now, the glass portion is just to have areas where we can stand around, sit around, maybe relax up there, but the glass gives us protection while we look out into General Calcutta. I think from a dynamic point of view in terms of a visual, the facade and the shape of the bridge, uh, it will give it a sort of look that will change as you drive around, you walk around the building. The materials in it, because of its texture, will also give you that variation. On a cloudy day, it might appear dull. On a bright day, it might appear sparkling. Part of the design that we're looking at is to apply what we call kinetic disc. And the disc will be shiny metal elements and they will be implanted onto the facade in certain areas and it will give uh, movement as well and the disc will have reflective sheen on it. Now what this does is to give movement in texture with colours. There was once uh, when Berlin and I were in Bali and we were on the rim of this crater. Um, we arrived at around evening sunset time. The clouds had 
descended and the light of the sun was bathing the clouds in a kind of surreal, dreamy-like atmosphere. Totally new experience for us. Something that I think in this project, we have the chance, we think, to create something like that. And we were told that um, in this area in Kolkata, the clouds sometimes come down very low. Uh, this is when we thought of the building or the club or daya itself could also become like the cloud, you know, amorphous, soft, uh, something that is not predictable, it's always changing. And um, people to be able to then walk in the clouds, you know, um, amongst uh, the cloud and to be able to experience this expanse. Jog, swim, workout, 400 feet above sea level. Tea off on the 32nd floor. Catch a sauna. Party in the clouds. That's your atmosphere.